Hello, hello, hello everyone. And once again, we are back together. And of course, uh, as your favorite uncle, I'll always try to uh, give you a plug when it comes to maths and science. Uh, so in this case, uh, we're going to be looking at 3D trig uh, in this case. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you're part of the family. All right. Uh, and let's just dive into the question, right? Um, so they said to us in the diagram below, We've got T, which is a hook, okay, uh, on a ceiling of an art gallery. Uh, points Q, S, and R are on the same horizontal plane uh, from uh, where three people are observing the hook, T, right? They say the angle of elevation uh, from Q to T is X, and they've given us QSR, which is 90 plus X. Of course, uh, that's everything that you can see in here. All right. Uh, QRS is X and QR is five units. And they told us that QS is equal to SQ. Now, remember, when it comes to the approach, uh, uh, by the way, if you haven't watched my longer videos uh, on this particular section, please do yourself a favor and do that, right? Uh, it's under the trigonometry playlist. You'll see that they are listed there. Right. Now, what you do is uh, the trick here is to always start on the side where you've got the most information or the triangle that has the most information, right? Now, they want us to uh, find, uh, sorry about that. So they want us to find QS, right? They said we should prove that QS is 510X. Now, which triangle has got the most information? If you look at it, it's actually a triangle QSR, right? I see that I've got two angles there. I also have um, a, a side as well, right? So in this case, I can use, now remember, when it comes to this section, you always can use the sine rule, the cos rule, right? Um, of course, we also do have the area rule, but you also can use trig ratios, uh, you know, and theorem of Pythagoras uh, if you've got a 90 degree triangle, right? But in this case, look at it. It's not a 90 degree triangle, right? We're looking for side QS, right? In this case, it's opposite side X uh, or angle X rather, okay? And we've got that side, which is five. Uh, so now for 8.1, I am going to say, right, in triangle, now note in triangle QSR, right? I know that the sine, okay, so this is going to be the sine of angle S, remember, divided by the side which is opposite angle X, uh, angle uh, S rather, which is QR, okay, is equal to the sine, okay, of uh, angle X, which is uh, R in this case, angle R, over the side opposite R is QS. Now, remember, we're trying to express QR, uh, QS, right? So in this case, let's find, so I've got sine of, uh, remember that angle um, S is 90 plus X, okay, divided by QR, right? So QR in this case, that's the one that is five units, which is equal to uh, um, angle R, which is X in this case. So this is the angle we are referring to. Okay. So that's uh, the sine of X divided by QS. All right. Now let's try and solve this. Okay. So now uh, if we cross multiply, uh, we've got QS times sine of 90 plus X. Now, once again, we can use our reduction formula, right? Our cast diagram says, okay, uh, we're looking at sine in the second quadrant. That's 90 plus X. How is sine in the next, in the, in the uh, second quadrant? It's actually uh, positive. So in this case, that's going to become positive. However, please remember that because of the 90, we're now going to change uh, to cos of X. All right. So that would be cos X over five is equal to sine X over QS. Right. Now let's uh, uh, obviously try to wrap this up. So we're going to have uh, QS times cos X times cos X 
is equal to 5 sine x. All right. And of course, we can divide both sides by Q, uh, uh, by cos of x, uh, cos of, sorry, um, divide by the cos of x. Um, so I've got QS is equal to, now remember, uh, sine over cos, that would be 10. So that would be 5, the 10 of x. All right. So I hope that you were able to see that. Okay, and remember, when do you use the cos rule? The cos rule, we only use it when we've got two sides and an included angle, right? Okay, so we've proven that. So now they say prove that the length of QT is 10 sine x, right? Now remember, what you do uh, with 3D trig is that you start from the triangle that has the most information, but then you go to a triangle that has a common side with that triangle, right? So if you look at this, uh, let's go into that diagram now. All right. So if you look at this, uh, the side, the common side there is side QS of which triangle? Of triangle QSR, uh, uh, QST rather. Okay. So uh, the triangle QST. So in this case, um, I'm looking for QT, which is this side over here right? But what do I have, right? I want you to please note, I've got, uh, in this case, I now have an expression for side QS, but note what they did, right? I also now know what uh, uh, that side QS is equal to QT. So in this case, those two sides are equal, but remember, it now makes this an isosceles triangle. So what do we know? We know that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So that makes this uh, uh, angle uh, X as well, right? Now, uh, and of course, um, if you take sum of angles on a triangle, this would be 180 minus 2X, right? Because that's angle X, that's angle X. So that would be 180 minus 2X. All right. Now, we're looking for QT in this case, right? And we've got side QS. So I can say the sine of S divided by QT. Remember, it's the side opposite that is equal to the side of QS, uh, the sine of X rather, which is from uh, uh, angle T divided by the side opposite that, which is QS. All right. So let's do that. So again, uh, in triangle, Okay, so I've uh, that side as uh, that's eight point two, right? I think I said five. Okay, uh, in triangle, um, we call this triangle QTS, right? So we're saying in triangle QTS, right? Let's take the sides. We said the sine of S, angle S, right? So that angle there divided by QT. So we're saying the sine of angle S divided by QT is equal to the sine of T. Remember, it's the sine of the angle divided by the side that is opposite. So that's QS. So sine of T divided by QS. So that's the sine of T divided by QS, right? Now, in sine S, okay, so uh, for the sine of S, um, remember that we said S is 180 minus 2X, right? Because those two angles were um, um, uh, uh, X each, right? Um, so we know that QTS is isosceles, right? Uh, that's an isosceles triangle. Uh, therefore, uh, it means that um, angle Q is equal to angle T. Is equal to angle T, right? Because they are base angles of an isosceles triangle. Okay. Right. So, we said that's the sine of 180 minus 2X. Okay. Right. Remember when we took the sine, uh, the the 
you know, the sum of angles on a triangle. We got that there, right? Divided by QT, which is what we are, we are looking for. And then this is equal to the sine of T. Remember that T is X. So that's sine of X divided by QS. Remember that QS, we now have an expression for it. That's going to be 5, the 10 of X. Now let's use our reduction formula again. So we're going to say this is sine. Um, so if we say 180 minus 2X, again, we use our cast diagram, right? 180 minus, that's going to be in the second quadrant. How is sine in the second quadrant? It's positive. So we're left with sine of 2X divided by QT, which is the side that we want, is equal to the sine of X divided by uh, 5, the 10 of X. Now let's cross multiply quickly, right? So in this case, we've got... Uh, QT sine X is equal to a uh, sine of 2X multiplied by 5, 10 of X. Of course, to simplify this, we're going to make sure that um, we, okay, uh, we actually make that double angle uh, into a single angle. So sine of 2X, you know that this will be 2 sine x cos x multiplied by 5. Now, 10 of x, remember, that's going to be a sine x over cos x. Okay. I can see that will cancel that. Okay. If I divide by sine of x on this side, uh, that means I divide by sine of x on this side. Okay. You can see how it will cancel one of them. All right, and uh, that cancels with that. So QT will actually end up being f uh, 2 times 5. In this case, that's 10 sine of X. All right, so we prove it that way. Okay, so um, the last question, they say calculate the area of triangle uh, TQ... R. So that big triangle there, right? Um, they say to us we should find the uh, area if angle TQR, uh, so which is TQR, so it means this big angle here, okay? So they said if this big angle there is 70, okay? Right? So remember we are now looking at this big triangle here all right they said that angle is 70 degrees right and they said x is equal to 25 now remember what do we have now uh, i want to just use a different color so that we can see it right we already found an expression for qt we know this is equal to five units right and we know the angle in between. Do you see? Two sides and an included angle, right? And what are we looking for? Uh, we are looking for the area, right? So remember in the area rule, you always again also use two sides and the included angle, right? So uh, if you don't mind, ladies and gents, I'm going to just do it over here. Um, so I'm actually trying to change the color there. All right, so I'm going to say, well, area will always be half times. Now, notice it's going to be the two sides. So that's QT multiplied by QR, right? Multiplied by the sine of the angle in between them, which is angle uh, Q in this case, uh, the sine of angle tqr if you want to okay tqr okay sorry about uh, obviously squeezing it there right so in this case what do we have we've got half of now notice for qt uh, in this case we already have an expression for qt which is 10 sine x so that's going to be 10 sine uh, of but our x is 25 right multiplied by qr in this case which is 5 
okay so that's multiplied by five and this is going to be the sine of the included angle which is 70 degrees all right so we can actually just put that in our calculator uh, so that's 0 0.5 times uh, 10 uh, sine of 25 right uh, multiplied by 5 sine of 70 okay and the area is going to be 9.93 um, they did not give us the units so in this case we're going to say units squared okay that's the area of triangle uh, T TQR okay right in fact I was supposed to uh, specify the TQR all right I hope that has been helpful ladies and gents and of course uh, I'll continue to give you some good content when it comes to maths and science please be on the lookout for geometry I'll see you guys next time shop shop